Sheridan Lake, located in the Caribou region of British Columbia, is known for producing large rainbow trout. But the lake can be challenging at times, as Dale and I found out earlier in the year when we only caught one fish in three days. It's late September now, and with temperatures dropping, the rainbows are moving back onto the shoals, greatly improving our odds of hooking into trophy fish. Joining us is Brian Chan, and with his knowledge of the lake, fly fishing expertise, and a special fly from his collection, we're confident that this trip will be far more successful than the last one. So it's all about redemption on Sheridan Lake, today, as we take you sport fishing on the fly. That's a toad. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at he's barely hooked, oh. Bry. He's just barely hooked. Whoa, he saw the net. He didn't like that. <laughs> and it's just, just hanging off that side lip, eh? That's why it's so tough. But you can't baby him. You know, you gotta. No, you gotta try to keep their head up and. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, that's a. <laughs> That's a bit of a slab, eh? Good start. Okay. Oh, that's got some meat, eh, Brian? Oh, I see how wide they are across oh, the map. Oh, they ever. And, you know, he was probably hooked a little better than I thought. Right in the side lip. It's just caught in the net. There it is there. We'll show everybody that little pattern after. But holy cow. That's wow, a beauty. that is a slab. Yeah. Holy cow. He's, well, how big? You know, how thick? Oh, look at Look oh, at how thick he is, I know. He's almost, he's pushing five. He's got to be five, five pounds, six pounds. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's like a little mini coho. I don't let him go, that's just brilliant. What a fight, just gorgeous fish. There he goes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What a start. Yeah. In crystal clear water and about yeah. seven feet of water. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm liking that pattern of yours. You are. <laughs> yeah, I am. I mean, that was my first cast, I just put it out there, bam. <laughs> <laughs> we have the whole day, and it's going to be a real hot day today. Like I was saying, it's cold today. Yeah. This morning, it's supposed to get up to the mid 20s. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy in this time of year. But a good start, Brian. Excellent. Very job. Nice. Nice. Oh. So, Brian, you just went back to your favorite. <laughs> just first flip. First flip with that same pattern. And Dale's got one on too in the boat. <laughs> and I'm sure he's using, you know what he's using. Oh, I know what he's yeah, using. Yeah, you know what he's using. <laughs> His favorite. He's probably got a tequila on. He hit it sitting. No movement. Yeah, I know. That's what mine on the very first one. He just ate it. Just sitting there. You know, if this continues into the afternoon, I think we may have to go into the bench and show that, <laughs> show that pattern. Pass. That's such a killer pattern. I don't trust my line out there. I just don't. Because these fish are so big, you hook one, you're, yeah. you're done. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheap. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Made a good move there. No, Boy, they, they, don't don't like like, they don't like that net. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I can't get in there. There. Oh. Got, him. got him. Chunky fish. Chunky right? fish. Oh, but, that's gorgeous. Look at, look at that. Oh, oh, beautiful oh that's a beautiful yeah. fish. You know, a few pounds. Oh, yeah, two you know, pounds. Two and a half, three. Oop. Oh, there he He's goes. Gone. Nice. You know, it's, it's funny, it's always on that little uh, that little brown pattern, but I looked at it, I thought, there's no flash, it's really no, blah. No crystal flash in the tail like we usually yeah. do. I think it's partly due to the really clear water that we're fishing, and they're so focused on those little shrimp, they want small items, so small leeches, and they just don't like flash. You know, it's funny, we were tying up like crazy yeah. last night because you said, hey, we've got to have these really dull yep. patterns and everything in my box, and all oh, my whole bag of goodies I brought up is all have flash. Yeah. No. So we had to modify. 
We always do. We modify them. They like them dull. They like them dull. Well, we'll we may go to the bench a little later and show you that pattern <laughs> if it keeps producing for yeah. us. Good job, Brian. All right, excellent. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice hog. I mean, yeah. But, you know, we've seen some slugs here oh, this morning. You know, we've seen them in the double digits oh, yeah. for sure. That one we, yeah, that one that cruised by the boat. Oh, it was a monster. <laughs> but these little guys are feeding right now. Well, this guy's got quite a bit of that stuff yeah. on him, eh? If you, you think it's a parasite of something. It's a little ectoparasite. Isn't it? Yeah, it, oh, oh, oh. Sometimes it's more, some years it's more prevalent than others. Yeah. Really hot summer up here, so I think fish collect a few more of them. And you think that's why they're uh, jumping, trying to shake them? Yep, that's or where they're jumping, the yeah. There it is there. Well, that's yeah. nice. Oh yeah, and he's got a few more of those little things, but good little fish. You know, that's the beauty here too, is yeah. you get a variety, right? You're gonna get uh, lots of fish that size. But you have that potential for that, you know, the oh, 12, 13 pound. How absolutely. big have they come out of here? How big a fish are in here? Oh, in the high teens every year. In the high teens, like yep. 18, yep. 16, 18. Usually oh. the biggest, the monster fish are taken in the middle yeah. of summer on plugs feet. Yeah, with plugs. lead core line. Uh, okay. But every year fly fishermen catch them in 14 pounds, 13 pounds. Nice. So they're here. And well, we'll have to do a little talk later about, uh, you know, the Freshwater Fishery Society stocking the lake. Yeah. You know, fishery stocking yeah. it. I hear they put quite a few fish in yeah. so we'll... We'll chat about that later. Yeah. Because it's a pretty phenomenal lake. Oh. But it's just getting cranked up. And you know what? It's getting hot. We're going to be down in our shorts here in no time. Oh, another hour or so. Comfy. Yeah, I know. He's still got big, big gray on. So let's talk a little bit about retrieves. What I like to do is just really slow hand twists. They seem to be just taking it off. The, oh, there. Oh, you had them. They just seem to be taking off the bottom. Almost still, right? Just gently dragging just but there's the key word brian just said it the key word is dragging so what we are we're in seven to eight feet of water we know our our flies are on the bottom you yeah. know because they can be in the moral yeah. and what the fish want they want to see them actually in the moral so it's a it's a weird way to fish you're actually not hanging it you're you're actually allowing yeah. it to sit right down yeah, in there you want to because we've got a very clean bottom here no weeds no weeds exactly. so you, you the if your leech is right on the bottom it'll leave a puff trail and they and, follow uh, that, right? Because their head's down, we're looking at the high oh, yeah, shrimp look, and everything, yeah. right? They're looking they're down. down. So there's a big key. Two good tips. Keep it slow. Even let it sit once in a while. And make sure it's on the bottom. Make sure it's dragging through tomorrow. Oh, oh, another nice fish. We got, we got the little guys coming in. Nice chunky. Oh, nice chunky, chunky little guy. fish. Yeah. Nice little comber. Oh, beautiful. There he goes. Nice. Well, you know what? It's time. I think we got to go to the bench. Yeah, we're gonna go to the bench and, and give it up. Okay. Well, you know, but hey, that's what we do. Yeah. And it's really the key you'll it's see on the bench. It's how you fish it. It's how you fish it, and I think also the key too is that little magic bead. You know that double oh, the brown, brown magic, magic bead. Yeah, oh, I yeah, love yeah. that. It's that is color. just such a killer, killer color. Oh yeah. So let's go to the bench. Tie you up, <laughs> Brian's little magic brown. <laughs> Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Brian's Magic Brown. It's a great pattern to use when the fish are being finicky. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We'll tie the fly on a size 12, 3X long curved nymph hook. We'll use some 8 aught brown olive thread to tie with, a 764 brown magic bead as the bead, some dark brown marabou for the tail, some red crystal flash for the tail highlights, and some brown brick Arizona semi seal on a red copper wire dubbing brush for the body. So to start the fly off, I put my thread on. I'm just going to wrap it to the back of the hook and just get it so it's slightly down the hook bend. That's where we're going to put our tail in. So what I've done is taken some fibers from the marabou feather. And I've only stripped off one side because I want this tail to be fairly thin. So I've got this and I've, I've cut them, packed them. And again, it's very thin. So I'm just going to tie this in near the back of the hook, wrap it in good, move back, and then go behind the tail, you know, once, pull it back in front, behind the tail again, just so the tail stays nice and upright. And then what we're going to do is pull it, pull the tail to the length. So I'm just going to measure back about a quarter of an inch and just make a nice short tail. Now that the tail's tied in, I've taken one strand of my red crystal flash and I've doubled it over. 
So I'm gonna, so I want two lengths on either side. So I'm just gonna pull them equally down both sides of the tail, wrap it in, and then just cut them to length. Cut them about the same length as your tail. Now that we have the tail and the tail highlights tied in, I'm gonna take my Arizona Cine Seal and I've got a dubbing block here. It's called a turbo dubbing block. And I'm just gonna lay small amounts of dubbing. So you don't wanna to put too much in here. You just want really, really small amounts of dubbing onto the dubbing block. And it forms really nice dubbing brushes. So you lay a really small amount of dubbing in there. And then we're gonna take our wire and put them together. So it traps the, the dubbing. And then we're just gonna spin it up and keep spinning to form a nice dubbing brush. Now that we have the dubbing brush all spun up, I'm gonna take my thread and put it right near the bead, just behind the bead, because I want the body fairly even. Wrap, your, wrap that thread back, right back towards the tail. Bring your thread forward again. Now we're gonna take that dubbing brush and wrap it forward to form the body. And we'll pick out the hairs or the fibers after we wrap the body in. Now to finish the fly off, I'm gonna take my whip finisher and again, right behind the bead, take a few wraps. And I like to double whip finish because I don't put any head cement on this fly. So I'll double whip finish it off, cut my thread, and then take your dubbing pick and start picking out the body. We wanna form a nice leachy body on the fly. So just pull it all back. So there it is, Brian's Magic Brown. What we found is this pattern worked really well in Sheridan Lake on these finicky fish and mainly because there's not much flash on the fly. It's a very subtle pattern. So what are you seeing? Well, look, we're seeing more fish jumping in deeper water. So I think they're sliding off the shallow stuff because the sun's getting higher. Yeah. So I think we should slide out a little bit into, we're only in eight feet, but let's go to like 14, 15. Sounds Try good. It. And I've, you know, I had a couple of fish on. I was wondering, what the heck? I couldn't sting them. <laughs> My off. barb's wide open. Ah, take it off. I am. No point. I, you know what? I know and I always bend them back, but no, then I pay for it. You're going to pay for it. <laughs> I'll pay for it. I'll change while we move. <laughs> It's a nice one, a few head shakes. This guy hasn't skied like the other ones. Ooh, he looks pretty good though. Looks pretty nice down there. I just, I get a kick out of these fish. They're just so fat. Wow, there's the fly oh, just, fly you out. know, the fly always falls out. That's the beauty of Barbo Sucks. Okay, let's, uh, oh, and you're gonna. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Okay. You know, pretty sure it's gonna be shrimp in there, but. And the little high low. Yeah, the yeah. real small stuff, but. Is there any gammers? There's gammers. Yeah, there bigger. is, but. Usually when you have a lake with lots of marl, you have better populations of Hialala. Oh, okay. And lots of marl? This lake is this full. This is solid of marl. marl. It's just solid. There we go, Don. Alrighty. We'll hold this guy up for everybody. Oh yeah, oh, look yeah. at that. That's a nice nice little crow. silver. Nice little silver bullet. Beautiful. You know they're just chunky, right? They're oh, nice yeah. and fat, healthy. There he goes. Alright, so we got our so we have. Yep. Like one. Two. Yeah. There's Not many. Two, three, one. Is that all you saw? One. One. One Iowa shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they're not even, eating. Not even eating yet today. Well, that's a beauty, Dale. That's a, that's a big one. Real nice. And you know, that's the thing. And that's the cool part. So here's another tip for everybody. You know, out in that uh, eight feet, six, eight feet and, and deeper, we're always using the leeches, you know, kind of on the bottom. But once you get in shallow, we noticed a whole bunch of fish in three, four feet of water, way in tight, really in here. Dale had the tequila on, and once we got in there, he started banging fish. So I see Brian's already. <laughs> He's already got tequila on. Dale's lighting this beauty here. It's just a gorgeous fish. And I think I'll have to change over to tequila too. So there's a tip for everybody. When you get into really narrow water or skinny water, as we call it, really shallow, change over and they love tequila when it gets really uh, thin like this. So I'm changing over. Well, Dale lands that beauty.
Okay, Dale, hold them, hold them up for everybody here. Show everybody that, that nice slab. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, gorgeous. Yeah, he's watching swim away, there he goes, beautiful. Well, oh, another big one. Well, Brian's already got tequila on. I'm just bringing mine in and then I'm changing over. He got him, the guy gave himself away. You turned and cast in, oh, I can get that guy. That was, no, that was another fish, I think the move's on the other side of us. Oh, it's gonna be a field day in here on tequila. He, turned, he showed himself. Oh, you betcha. That's, that's the beauty, you know, when you get them in the shallow water, they just can't resist this fly. I don't know what it is. They just, oh, there we go. Oh, I got one too, double headed. They just eat everything. Oh, and I lost them. Darn, see? Like, that's a double header. They don't have the big hog on. That's a nice size. And if they stay in here in the shallows, we'll pick them up all day long. Little guy. Little guy, yeah. Well, still. nice fish, but. Yes. Sheridan fish, not where we've been seeing jumping. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's tequila. <laughs> Just a little guy, but still they hit hard. That oh, yeah. guy I had in there was about the same yeah. size too. There he is, yeah. nice fish. But I mean, it, you get every size on tequila too. <laughs> and the big key when you're fishing this, and we've mentioned this on other shows, you have to have that super fast incline. We use a deep set of line. Yep. Set. Gets you right to the bottom. You're stripping that fly quick, quick, quick strips. It just drives them crazy. Oh, yeah. They gotta eat it. Oh, yeah. But it really, a lot of times, only in shallow water. Yep. Just one of the keys. And we're in shallow water, the fish are here, so keep fishing you Gotta to try keep different things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Islander Precision Reels, Mountain Valley Sports Fishing and Tours, and Maui Gym Sunglasses. Well, that's this bizarre. You know what? They're all just like in the big tequila. Like yeah. we've got two different sizes, a size, you know, size 12 and a size 10, and they haven't touched. Well, we snapped a couple Earlier, off, but and then... you're banging them on the on the bigger ones. So where the where the difference? Let's check the size difference. Let's see on this one because that's very. So there's a normal. That's our normal size. That doesn't look any different. And where's the big ones? There's a little guy. Here's the yeah. little ones that I tried. Really? Yeah, and these are the guys that I'm using right here. Right there, so they're the same. Yeah. So what the heck? Same. Yeah, they're the same tequilas. Well, we're, they're following ours and they're not eating it. Yeah. Well, I'm stripping really fast. Yeah, yeah. we normally do in the normal strips. Yeah. So maybe it's just a spot because they're cycling through. Maybe it's the pocket. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because they're following it. You see them follow, but they're not eating it. For years they're whacking. Fishermen. Yeah. Must be. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's just bizarre. Okay, well. That's the same size. Well, what the heck? You know what? Well, Push us off. Yeah. We're going to. We're on go to a different side. area then. Tragic. There's a nice one there. A few moving out in here. Oh, there's three or four right there, Bri. Yeah. There's a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. Look at them over here. Oh, yeah, as soon as we moved over, Brian. We weren't over them. We weren't over them. No, and then we got over them after Dale showed us he had the exact same pattern. We were, they were following us, but they were tailing off back this way towards Dale. Now, we kind of poached Dale out. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. And now we're into the fish on this side. But they're, you know, Dale said they are cycling in from here. They're coming in this way and going around. So we are getting uh, bypassed. Oh, they're hot fish. Holy cow. Way over here, Brian. Look at that one, Brian. Look at that guy. He's probably on yours. Look at him. Wow. Oh, here he is here. I'll get him on this side. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gone. <laughs> that was a bit of a cluster. But look at the fish over here. Holy cow. Okay, I'm getting it back out there. It's too bad we lost that guy, but there's... Look at them all. Oh, he's right on it, Brian. Oh, oh, he's right there. Come on, eat it. There, oh, oh, you missed, oh, he turned on it. Oh. This is awesome, we're sight fishing, and we got all these fish falling in. They're coming in off this point. That guy plucked it, plucked it all the way in, oh. and finally, 
try to take it. Did you have one? Oh, oh right there. They're, they're right gonna... there. Oh, this is fantastic. But they're picky, eh? They're finicky. Yeah. They're just grabbing tequila. Oh, this is too much fun. Didn't know you were so good at cooking hamburgers. It's the barbecue. You can't beat it. You know, oh, when yeah. you come to shore and have a warm <laughs> lunch, I hate having buns all the time. It's great to have a hamburger. While we're on shore having lunch, that would be a good time to talk to Brian about uh, the Sheridan Lake and the great job they do on the fishery. They stock it pretty, pretty extensively, don't they? Well, the Fresh Heart Society works in partnership with uh, provincial fisheries managers to manage the lake. And it, this lake almost gets 300,000 fish a wow. year. And it's a combination of about 150,000 Dragon Lake fall fry, so stocked every September. And then in the spring, it gets 60,000 triploid panask yearlings and 60,000 triploid blackwater yearlings. Now, all that information is online, correct? Yep, you just go on to gofishbc.com and you can see what gets put into Dragon every year and every other, the 850 other lakes in the province that the society stocks every year. And I think that's why the fish get so big here is because they are triploid. You mentioned 60,000 triploided fish. They get big. Oh yeah, and there's also a bit of natural recruitment in. Okay. There's a couple artificial spawning channels in the in in the lake uh, that the fish do go up and spawn. But it, that's a good number of fish. But it's a big piece of water. Hey, it certainly <laughs> is for sure. But that's great that the Freshwater Fisheries Society does that. And you mentioned before this is a high use lake. Sheridan is the highest use lake in the whole entire Caribou region. So that's why you know the numbers of fish are justified going in the lake and. It, what we've seen, it creates a wonderful fishery. Well, you know what? The barbecue should be cool by now. We're having so much good luck. We're going back out there. I like that. See whether we're going with our bobbers or we'll see what Whatever. happens. Whatever. We're out. <laughs>. A fish everywhere. in every lake in BC, I think. It wow. is just a killer pattern. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. Oh, you nice ate fish. it? Oh, nice fish. Purple. There it is there. It's a little purple guy. Always popping. It's a oh. hit. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a gorgeous fish. Nice and fat. Chrome. I didn't expect a big guy on purple, but that's a that's a quality fish. There he goes. <laughs> How's about that, Bri? How's about that on purple? Yep. Well, you know what? It's been a pretty spectacular day. <laughs> it has. Hey? We got them on everything. But, uh, you know, the main thing, again, was your, you know, that we tied on the bench, you know, Brian's Magic Brown. It's just, uh, that's a killer pattern. Yeah, it's just very drab, but they like it. They love it. You know, we had a great day. I want to thank the Bulldog for coming out. He's all, you know, he's beating us up as always. He's catching on his booby. Every time we got in the shallow water, he was pounding fish, but. But we're used to it. We can take it. And of course, Sheridan uh, Loon Bay Resort. Oh, it's great, eh? Beautiful resort, right on the water. You pop out, uh, really good accommodation. Just a great adventure. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. It, we, it paid off. It Sheridan, pay off. Sheridan produced. After we got beat up, we had to come back. <laughs> so take care of Conserver Waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.